Attention, not everything filmed should be attempted or recreated. Nature is a valuable resource. Without proper training, you could hurt yourself or the environment. I have a knowledge and experience in these situations. I do not alter or recreate scenes for publicity. My intention is to film nature in its true form when possible. I want to encourage conservation efforts and inspire others to find their own true nature. Thank you and enjoy. Today, I'll be kicking off my Caribbean segment, showing you the multiple species that I have found while exploring the beautiful waters of Jamaica. Yaman. Sorry, had to do it. Jamaica is located in the Caribbean Ocean, right here. Alright, so you know where we're at? Let's not waste any time and dive right on in. Oh, oh look at this guy. This guy right here. Hey there, buddy. Well, this guy is little, but he can pack a serious surprise to those who don't know what he is. This guy, our little buddy, is the Lesser Electric Ray, Narcine Bancorfetti. I did say Electric Ray, and probably pronounced that scientific name wrong as well. But they are one of the few animals that can produce an electric shock, just like the electric eel. This species are pretty common and are not endangered or threatened, which is a very good thing. The species of electric ray is mostly found in shallow coastal waters, but it has been found up to depths around 180 feet. Not too shallow. Now, they have a huge range. The furthest north location is North Carolina, and it follows the coast of the U.S., Mexico, Central, and South America till about Uruguay. So we're talking about a lot of coasts these guys are cruising. Like a lot of rays, they tend to be found in loose substrate areas, like sand. They use a loose substrate to hide from predators or ambush prey. Now being small themselves, they only feed upon small invertebrates and fish. This one smaller species can only grow about to 18 inches or 45 centimeters. Attention, they will not kill you, will not kill you. But it does create a good shot to those who disturb it. I unfortunately touched one, not knowing what it is, but luckily did not get shocked. It takes a bit to get a shock from these guys I have found out. Do not touch them. Or just don't touch anything you don't know what it is. Kind of a general rule, just a good general rule to have. Found out they don't have a sandpaper feel like most rays. They're mostly smooth and slimy. Now to discuss their amazing adaptation, like I said before, they can create an electric shock. This is made possible with the help of a special organ that holds these certain cells. The organs are found in the face of the ray. Well, I guess you'd call the face, you know, the front part of the ray. The cells inside of these organs are called electrocytes. They're the ones that produce electricity. These cells move ions inside or outside of the membrane itself, creating different charges, just like a battery. The ions outside of the cell creates a positive charge, and when they're inside the cell, it creates a neutral charge. The exchanging of charges create your electric shock, and these guys can release it at will. They can produce an electric shock between 14 and 37 volts. They use this shock to stun prey, but mainly use it for defense. They also create a little electric field around them so they can communicate with other rays, and they use it also to find mates. Now remember, it takes amps to kill someone, not volts. This species doesn't have the juice to produce such amps. The more electrocytes, the greater the charge. This is why a lot of bigger species of electric ray can produce large enough charges to even stun humans. You need about 25 amps to revive someone, but it takes 100 to 200 milliamps to kill someone. This all depends on where you're at, how much body tissue, physics things that I'm not really going to go into. Now some electric, electric rays can produce 30 amps. So I guess technically if your uncle on the beach just falls over from a heart attack, you could just revive him with a slap and a couple of rays on his chest. Well, that's pretty much all I have for this guy. Thank you for watching. Please, please, please subscribe, like, and comment. Also, don't spend all your time watching these and go out and find your own true nature. But, but, you know, watch mine first, then go find your own true nature. You know, likes and comments.
Also, follow me on Instagram at Jacob's True Nature. And also, have a good time, guys. Later.